prepare your helium balloon for this demonstration, uh, you'll have to cut off any string that has cinched off the bottom part of it. Um, so I'm going to do that. And actually, as long as that string or ribbon is tied below where this circle is, uh, you won't break the seal on the balloon. Okay, uh, so right now there's a seal that runs the length of this part of the balloon about three more inches into it. And you're going to have to deflate this because right now it, it floats to the ceiling and you want it to just be a little bit heavier than the, um, the surrounding air. Um, to do that, you're going to take the, a straw and you're going to warm its way in through this circle here so that it slides underneath the neck of the balloon like that. And you're going to push it a good six inches in. And when you get it far enough in, it's about eight inches, you'll hear it starting to deflate. Now I'm taking out some of the helium. All right, so take out a little bit of the helium, and then you might want to pause there and press down here on the neck of the balloon so that the seal doesn't come back out with the, with the straw. So it gets caught on the straw sometimes and comes out with it. So you're pushing, pushing down hard here and then sliding the straw out and the seal remains in there, and I've deflated it somewhat. Right, so I've taken out some of the air. Now right now it still floats, so I'm going to need to counterweight it, and I have some binder clips to do that. I want to add them around the sides, and maybe even one on the neck of where I took the air out, just to help seal it a little bit more. There's one. Not quite enough. One on the other side. That looks good, right? Just about heavier than the surrounding air, right? Because it sinks. Great. So now uh, we can use a heating pad, uh, which has been warming up in its insulated cover, uh, to heat this up by placing it against it. But we're going to take the insulated cover off so we get a little bit better contact from conduction. And uh, we're going to hold it against it to heat it up. Do this, you'll hear it starting to inflate, or I should say, expand. Flip it over. The other side. It's against there for about half a minute to a minute. I'm going to let go of it. And we'll see that it rises. On its way up, as it cools off, it'll start to, we'll hear it starting to collapse. And we'll head back down. To get it to stay up there longer, you can use a hair dryer but the heating pad is a better equivalent for the thermal energy uh, from conduction that air receives outside um, to cause it to go up uh, from the ground.